you're very defensive. Yes. You you take if I even bring something up that goes against your point of views, you get very defensive. You get very upset. Correct. So this I is what we're going to discuss today because I was very very shocked. The video did really well on the I'm, channel. I'm glad. I'll the probably... video did very well. People appreciated me being honest with the things I wish I changed. It's probably a good video. I won't watch it, but I'm sure yeah. it's, it's amazing. Okay, yeah. so let's start with the first one. And this is something where you can agree or disagree right, or talk go. about it. Well, the first one I brought up, you know, I've been, you hate me when I bring this up, but mobility and yoga. I know he likes it. I'm fine but with it. What? why didn't... Okay, you got to remember, everyone watching, Costa programmed... This is where building hurting bombs comes. Costas, in my mind, specializes in like programming, periodization, and yeah. my ability to peak on fight night is it was second to none. He had me literally killer, killer fight night, always in my best shape, never injured. I mean, master of periodization. So we put all this stuff together. So this is why I'm very intrigued why we never was, I was never forced enough to do more mobility in yoga. Okay, here's why. The first thing is you're training twice a day. You're working as a teacher. So we had an hour, okay, in the gym a few times a week. I had to maximize that hour, Joe. So am I going so what we did, we come in, we did it, we did we didn't do no mobility, excuse me. We did, you know, we rolled out, we did mobility work, we warmed it was more of a warm up, not yeah. a rehab prehab. Um so I'm like, okay, I got an hour. I got 10 minutes to warm you up and then I got to get right into work. What's going to give you more bang for your buck coming up for a championship fight? Is it going to be 45 minutes of stretching? Or is it going to be, you know, 10 minutes of a warm-up so you don't get injured and mobility and um, whatever and rolling and, you know, all that jazz? And, or, and then getting right into your explosiveness, your training, whatever period that we were on there, your, your, your strength or your speed. It's going to – I have to do this bang for my buck. Yeah, I'm but not, you could have said, Joe – there's 15 minutes in the morning, 15 minutes before you go to bed, and then there you go. There's a little bit of mobility and stretching. And I've, I've added a little bit in the morning now, a little bit at night, and I feel a world of difference on my back. My hips are more looser. My squat depth has improved like crazy. You, my were, glutes are firing better than they've ever had. Were you injured in any of your fights? Were you not no. the healthy? See, did you Danny. not feel 100? See? Because I'm uh, this, is, this is <laughs> what I'm telling you, you about. Maybe it's better in your, this is what I'm telling you about. in your daily life as you, you, know, as you get older, you know, as, the, as, the, as, the, as it creeps up on you, you know, you're, you're fighting and whatever. Mm -hmm. But at the time, to win a championship, you came in healthier than everyone. You came in with better energy. You came in with more strength. There was nothing that uh, that if I put in like 30 minutes of mobility would have changed anything there. So I got to give you bang for your buck. You yeah. want to do that as you do now to improve your, your life walking around? Yeah, you know, I wasn't training you to walk around everyday life better. There is nothing healthy about high-level sports. How nice would it have been for me to do side splits at parties to impress everyone? I would have been pretty heavy. Yeah, but now I can't because my hips were too tight. Okay, side rant. Uh, not side rant, side question. People at parties, Joe, and we've talked about this a few times. <laughs> they, they come up to you and they're like, oh, you know, you're Here a kickboxer. We go. Why don't you hit me? Why didn't this you? You should drop these guys. Like you told yeah, me the story. <laughs> you, not hit them in the face, in the yeah. head. But just, you know, take the wind that I'm dropping to the floor so they don't ask you again. I hate when people do that stuff. Okay. So one day, how long ago was this? Ah, a few years ago. Many more than a few. Yeah. So I call them after a party. It's like, again, probably beverages involved. Someone asked me to give them a liver shot. Bro, randomly yeah. at a party Bro. and so i gave him a little touch he's like oh that's it i took it i took it from the there chat. you go yeah and there's like give me a little harder one so yeah. i give it so he was all happy that he took it he was happy and Dang. then i took costa costa's like bro you can't be doing stuff the like disrespect this. bro yeah. the disrespect <laughs> they're, now they're walking around yeah Juno, 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 Juno. now he thinks he's a tough no, guy you know what someone comes up to you okay you know what you say no a couple of times yeah. you don't hit him right away you say no but if they're getting assistant you drop them with the liver shot nice, so they don't ask again yeah, so, i mean they're just like people in sparring like these kids who come out Let's talk about sparring. Hold on, Costa. We're going. Oh, we're, right. I know you like to rent. Yeah. One thing at I a time. I want to talk about sparring. Danny, put that on I asked. The, I started talking about the five things. <laughs> yeah. I didn't even get through one. We'll get, we'll As he's sparring. answering we'll one, I got yeah. a side rant that led into a whole other topic. Yeah. We didn't even finish mobility and stretching. All right. I'm bored of that one. Number two. Okay. But number one, another thing is about maximizing time. I think yeah. that's important. But, is, I, uh, but here's a number one thing. Here's a thing. Like, I think you're getting it. Not you, but people just get... Training for high performance to perform the best in that one day has nothing to do with health. I'm sorry. There's, no, there's nothing healthy about high-level sport. Doing sports is healthy in your life, absolutely. Being active, 
But the way, how you have to take your body to be the best in the world and perform at the highest level against other high level people, doesn't matter what sport it is, there is nothing healthy about that. So if you're talking about, well, why don't you give me mobility, walk around in everyday life, I don't care about how you walk around in everyday life. I'm sorry, my, my goal was to turn you into a machine that wins that belt. My goal was to not say how you're gonna walk around and do side splits at parties. Like that, that's, a, you can go to the personal trainers to do that. I'm here to win you a title, bro. And however we do, ne legally necessary to do to, it. to get that we do it so that's that's why now there's always i mean you could explain it a little bit better than me but there's almost like a risk versus reward versus being too flexible um for power generation hyper flexibility is not good in but i mean sport, like yeah. over there's a there's a there's a point of no return at that point right where you'll lose power and force production yeah you need to be a little bit stiff so you're actually getting the force production in your tendons to be able to load up and go to load you, up you, that power yeah, you need to be because if you're loose how are you going to generate power? How are you going to you know transfer the power, right? Yeah. Um, so that's that's the thing. You're not going to, again, hypermobility is more genetics type of thing. Uh, realistically, when you're stretching, you're not going to stretch yourself over what you can do. You're not, I'm not going to be able to ever do the splits no matter how much I stretch or even touch my toes. I'm just, it's, just, it's just nice for oof. me. Okay, there's helps you with mobility. It's just the recovery time is just feels so much better on my hips. Like you got to think after an intense, you know, squat, lower body day, plus the amount of kicks I throw, I'm a kicker. I like to throw my kicks. So my, my hips still to this day are locked up. Yeah, so, I mean, I think a little bit for recovery could have been better. It's okay. Cost just a little bit more. I'm not, I'm not asking for a whole yoga day session. Just a fine. little bit more, I think would have been a little bit more again, better. I, I, I could care less how you felt in your 50s. But again, it could have been me doing a little bit more on my own time. But again, I worked full time. I didn't have that well, yeah, time. Five, we were so training. It's, it's my thing is how are you going to win that title? Not how are you going to feel in your fifties? And, and again, you know. talking about the time, you know, because again, not everyone has the luxury of being a full-time professional fighter. People got to work. Yeah. So the other thing we never did was run. It was because of that reason. Why do I need to run different energy systems? Just a waste of time. It didn't maximize the amount of time that I did have to train. Are we going to get into the whole running? There's no point. No, no, I would no. never have you run. No, I'm exactly. Sorry. But I'm saying that goes yeah. along the lines of, you know, understanding that we only have an hour or two hours a day and running 10K is stupid to do it. So we never did it. No, it's counterproductive. It's not, if, if you, even if you had that time to run, I wouldn't let you run. There's no point. There's, there's no energy system that helps in kickboxing in, in, uh, three um three three, three, minute three, three minute rounds or five three minute rounds that that running in a, at a slow pace over however many times you want that's an old school thing we've changed since the uh since the 1920s back then you want to still train in the 1920s you know mm -hmm. you you wear a girdle and you know you do all, all those old school strong men like We've changed as a society. We're not doing the stuff there, but people, oh, you know, old school this is how we did it. Okay, man. New but school, again, we win titles. Old school was also referenced on boxing, where boxing was like 15 rounds. Yeah, boxing. Boxing was the, 15 rounds. Yeah, yeah, you better you better run. For, you it, need to run in boxing. That's what yeah, people ask me. They're like, 15 rounds do versus nine runs? minutes. I'm like, they're like, why do why do? Yeah, I'm like, well, because boxing is an aerobic sport. There's anaerobic absolutely in boxing. We yeah. come in, but you have to have your aerobic system on point. Because you're going 10, 15 rounds. So that's a completely different... Kickboxing is not boxing, which yeah. is stupid. And even yeah. MMA, it's MMA still 3.15. Yeah. It's, it's a little bit longer, but But you're still not, not using cardio. You're, you're, you're resting and exploding. Yeah. You know, and that's... And I come back from background teaching hockey players. You're, you're, you're gliding on these... We, a shift is what? 40 seconds max? And you're not doing 40 seconds of work. Yeah. Well, 40 seconds is a long shift, about 30 seconds. And you're doing... And we actually calculated, uh, me and Matt back in the day with the Leafs, we had the, the monitors on the players how much work that they're doing. And they spent all their time in aerobic, and uh, it's not in aerobic, in anaerobic, in anaerobic um, systems. They spend basically zero on aerobic. So these guys are sitting on bikes for no reason. You're just wasting your time. Yeah, but that's good for lactate recovery. It's good for, don't with aerobic training, you get more mitochondria, which helps flush out the lactic acid, isn't there? Like, But I mean, my answer to that was- Your practice. You're practicing for yeah. two hours. Your practice you're practicing for you an that. hour, which is, yeah. Hitting your aerobic system yeah, at that point, which your, is giving you all that lactate removal and all that. You're just getting into overtraining. Yeah. Yeah. So was that number one? That was number one. Good right. with